Hi, this is Amy Mayer with Fried Technology, and I wanted to let you know that for a limited time, Google has made the advanced features that will allow you to stream and record Google Meets available to every education customer, and I want to show you how to turn those on. So first of all, you have to have the right privileges in your district's G Suite admin console. So if you don't, be sure to talk to your technology director. Um, that person is probably the person who will turn this on. So first of all, what he or she will do is navigate to admin.google Dot com. You'll be prompted to log in again, um, even if you're already logged in in your browser. So once we get here, what we're going to do is just go ahead and do a search for Meet. That's the easiest way, I think, to find this setting. We're going to go to the Meet Settings page, and then we're going to use this down arrow in the Meet Settings section right here. All right, now these are the two features that we want to turn on, recording and stream. These are normally only available in the uh, enterprise version for education, uh, but for a, a brief time due to the coronavirus, we're all going to be able to use these features, which is really great. I think we can stream up to, I want to say it's 250,000 people and record our meetings. So these are awesome features. I want to turn them on right away and, and start using them as long as I can. So what I'm going to do, let me go back and do that again. I'm going to go ahead and edit this recording section. I'm going to choose let people record their meetings and save. Notice it says it may take up to 24 hours to propagate to all users. I don't know whether it will take that long in your domain, but if you're planning on using it on Monday, go ahead and make sure you've got at least 24 hours. Then we're going to do this on the stream setting also and we'll save. And that's it. Once we have saved uh, both of these settings right here, we're finished. We don't have to save on the page. Um, you can go ahead and close the admin console. Now, as far as accessing this feature, when you go to meet.google.com, you will have a way to start a meeting right there. And you can also start these or maybe I should say schedule these by starting a calendar event and this is how I prefer to do it so everybody knows you know when they're supposed to be there and all that kind of stuff so I just clicked one time on a day in my calendar and now I'm gonna to go to more options so that I can see my ad conferencing section and this is where I can add a hangouts meet to my calendar event there it is if you want to change your meeting ID, you can do that with this little edit button right here. Otherwise, it's going to be this, you know, just this code there. And you can always just copy and paste this and send it to other people. Um, or you can add them to the calendar event and they can click it right from here. If someone doesn't have a camera or a microphone, they can also call in with their phone number, which is really convenient. Let me show you where you will see your advanced features. So when you join or start a meeting through a calendar event or through meet.google.com, let me give it a name really quickly. You can go ahead and join the meeting even if you're the only one there. Uh, when it first opens, you'll get an ability to copy that joining info or you can invite people right down here. And where you'll see the new features is down here in the bottom right. And this is where you can go into record your meeting. This is just a reminder to make sure anyone who's in the meeting knows that it's being recorded. and we just got a little audible notification and now we're being notified up here in the top left that the meeting is being recorded. When you get finished you can go down here to stop recording and hit stop 
and since I just turned on the ability to live stream I'm not seeing that in my domain yet so I'll show you this little GIF that Google has on their blog where you can see that start streaming button as well this also has the numbers on it that you may need you can have up to 100,000 in domain users who can watch the meeting from the web or their mobile device I cannot imagine how many who would have that many users watching at one time obviously once you've got it recorded uh, you can put it on YouTube and as many people as you want can watch it so I hope that helps you get started and stay in touch with people uh, during this time when you may not be able to see them in person. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.